What is up, everybody? Chewy Internet coming at you today, and we got another Marvel Crisis Protocol video. And sorry, guys, I know it's been like a week, week and a half, or something like that, that I posted any MCP content. I've just been busy, you know, with a new job and everything. And, uh, you know, just I got some stuff going on, and I'm also going to have some more content coming up for MCP. Uh, I do want to do a couple of interviews this week. Um, and well, not this week, maybe either this week or next week, I do want to talk to Nate from Gamers Guild, uh, from the Gamers Guild, or I think that's what the channel's called. Um, he won the uh, singles tournament at Adepticon this year, which is awesome. Well, maybe we can get his perspective on the tournament and all that, MCP. Um, I don't have a date and time yet. I have to get back with him and talk to him about it. And I'm also going to be talking with Omnis Protocol, who all was my teammate during a team tournament. Uh, we ended up getting seventh place at that tournament. Um, so, yeah, I should have that uh, those videos out soon, right? And uh, just honestly... With MCP, everything's just been kind of dry lately, you know, no, no new reveals or anything like that, uh, which is unfortunate, so there's not been much to talk about on that end, but this video, um, and before I get into this, um, I uh, please do me a favor, like, dislike the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, um, we'll have more MCP content and all that stuff, but uh, this video is basically just going to be about uh, what's, what's going on, so uh, Adepticon... Let's just talk about Adepticon. Adepticon was cool. Uh, spent a couple of days out there. I, was, I went out Thursday night. Um, I got there, was able to play a casual game. And Friday was the team tournament. All in all, I had a really great time. I got a chance to meet some people uh, from the NSP community. Dr. Norbert, who I got to meet, was amazing. I had to play him in the team tournament, and I'm losing to him um, at that tournament. Um, Omnis, who, you know, was awesome as well. I got a chance to meet him. He was my teammate. I got a chance to meet infamous MCP. I think I'm saying that name correctly. Um, I got to meet him. I also got to meet uh, Nate from the Gamers Guild, um, Jimmy DeHand, uh, Matt Alex. I mean, you can just keep going down and on and on. Vince and Kirkov. Um, you know, I got to see Alex Bots out there. Uh, Nate um, from the Alfredo's Taco Truck podcast thing, too. Um, I got a chance to see everybody and, and meet a lot of people. Uh, the event was really cool. I had a wonderful time. I wish we would have won the team tournament. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Um, it was it was cool. Um, the only the only knocks I have on it, uh, the team tournament could have been ran just a little bit better. Uh, the timing was just not great. Um, the professional casual has our matches on stream and on YouTube. I think at this point in time, you can go out and check it out and, and watch those matches. Um, I mean, that first match was ended on time, and I didn't feel like we played that long at all. I mean, it felt long, but it wasn't. Um, and we had another game, another game ended in time as well. Um, uh, that, I mean, we, we literally played two rounds, two rounds of the match and, um, it, it ended after turn two, we ended up winning the game because they said dice down. Um, you know, and it was a long day. I mean, we had like maybe 20 teams. Um, the, the timing just wasn't great. And, and it felt like the tournament was going on forever. Um, I got so burnt, so burnt out from that tournament. Uh, that I chose not to play in a single tournament the next day at all. Because uh, I was just not, not, not I just didn't want to deal with it. I was I was tired. Um, I didn't want to deal with the timing again and just get upset with everything. And just, you know, I, I just wanted to have a good day on Saturday. And I didn't want to ruin anybody's time with everything going on. You know, and um, th th that was it. I mean, that was my knock at Adepticon. Just the, whoever was running the tournament uh, just... Um, you know, get the timing down a little bit better. Um, all in all, I love the format. The team format was really good. It was really interesting, uh, especially with the decision making between you and your partner to to um, you know to, to win matches or to, or to come up with these crazy plays. And you know, uh, it was it was cool. It was interesting. I loved every minute of it. My, my partner Omnis. I mean, I had, we had a really good time. We had two different styles of we had two different play styles meshed together um, to do you know to play in this tournament. It was really cool. I got his perspective on his strategies. Basically, he got some of my perspective on my strategies. Um, it was cool. I loved every minute of it. It was just that I, I, I was. They really need to do a better job. And I'm hoping. I mean, I'm, and, it, and the other thing is too, like this is like their first event that they've ran for MCP at Adepticon ever, right? So I mean, Adepticon's been gone, you know, for two years now. You know, this is you know the pandemic happened. You know, 2020 didn't happen. 2021 didn't happen. Uh, now this is 2022, so they've been a couple of years removed. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm hoping next year they do a better job of that. And, um, I mean, I, I liked everything they did. Everything, every event that they ran was great. I, mean, I love all the ideas. The promo cards that were out there were great. 
the Quinjet, by the way, that uh, Atomic Mass Games sent out was amazing. Like playing with that thing actually makes me want to buy it as a product. Um, so, you know, um, it is what it is, though. Uh, they'll they'll definitely show up those things and fix it. Um, and and hopefully next year the uh, the, the tournaments run a little bit better. Um, and and please have chess clocks. I mean, not just timing. Have chess clocks. I know this is like. You know, some people are going to take it as a negative or whatever. But chess clocks, I played them at LVO. Um, you have more than enough time to use those chess clocks. And it just it, it's better for both you and your opponent to keep each other in check. That way you're not taking too long during a turn and be accountable. It's all about accountability, especially if you're playing in a tournament setting. You know what I mean? You want to get through the game. You know, you don't want to, you know, you want it to run as clean as possible. Um, and, and just make sure the, the event runs at a timely event. You don't want an event to end at like 10 o'clock at night or something like that. Uh, because of timing, you know, because your opponent's too slow or, or whatever. You want to hold people accountable for play. So uh, there's another recommendation. Just have chess clocks out there. Um, chess clocks, timing, have some way to show me where the time is so I know how long I have. Um, so, yeah, just that. And um, the other thing, too, is that um, while playing on stream, um, apparently I couldn't use any of my custom tokens or uh, custom measurement tools and range tools thought that was strange um you know i understand it i think i think there's something with a legal perspective I, I don't know i don't have all the details all i know is is that they were not allowing custom stuff on stage um i just find that very strange and um and i hope that's not the direction going forward because i mean the mcp community we have a lot of great people in this community not just players we have uh, people on Etsy. We got people. I'll just talk about Etsy in general. We have people on Etsy that that take time out of their day to make these uh, custom tokens, range rulers, whatever. And uh, you know, I consider them a part of the community. You know what I mean? I don't want them to be pushed out because you know it's not an MCP, uh, you know, an AMG or whatever they want to call it, uh, product. You know, like I want to be able to showcase. Um, everybody, you know, everything that, that everybody does. I mean, they put in their time and. And, and create these products, you know, for the players, you know, um, cause they're really cool stuff. You know what I mean? And I understand that AMG is, they're not the, the main company's product or what they made, but I mean, give, let, you know what I mean? Let people that are not, you know, that are in this community, cause I consider them part of this community. Let them, let their product shine a little bit. You know what I mean? You don't have to say, Hey, you're, you know, you don't have to push the product, um, at all. You don't have to say, Hey, listen, this is where you go for Etsy or whatever. Just, let at least at least let the product be shown you know there's a lot of talented people out there and, and you know it helps their business too um you know they're making great products and you know i don't think they should be not showcased on a stream because of whatever reason it is you know i just thought that was really strange um you know especially for the first i mean this is like a first uh, con where a tournament's being streamed for mcp live and in person um i just didn't think that was a good look i understand where they're coming from as a company but I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was, uh, but I would like, I would hope that gets fixed in the future because um, there's a lot of cool stuff out there that a lot of people are making and um, makes my life easier. Um, you know, I just want to play with cool stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, if that's the case, then, you know, my opinion is, is always make your own products and I'll, pur and I'll purchase them, right? If they may, if AMG made custom, um, custom rulers, custom, uh, movement tools, custom tokens, I would purchase them easily. They're currently not. They're not in that market. I mean, everything's cardboard, so you have other people that are doing that. Um, and I just want their products to be shown. You know what I mean? And it is what it is. I understand. I, I get it, and I don't. It's it's one of those I hope gets addressed in the future because uh, I don't want a situation where someone's live streaming a game and somebody just pops in and shuts you down because you're showing someone else's equipment or you're playing with someone else's product, right? It's not your product. I just find that very strange and I find that very weird. Um, so yeah, anyways, guys, this is that. It's just a bit of an update on everything that's been going on. Uh, tomorrow morning, tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, um, I will be playing against Hyper Viper. I am in the top cut for the TTS League Season 7. I will be playing with Brotherhood. Um, I'm gonna have a hell of a matchup tomorrow against uh, Hyper Viper. He's a really good player. Um, I'm going to just go in and do my best and, uh, hopefully come up with a W. Uh, if not, that's okay. I mean, I made, I mean, I'm top 32 right now. So that's all that matters to me at this point in time that I, you know, that if my goal was to make the cut, made the cut. Now from here is just, uh, everything here is brownie points, right? Everything here is like just cherry on top. 
You know what I'm saying? If I make top eight, top 16, hey, you know, the internet's going to talk about me, right? So um, that's it, guys. That's all I have. It's just an update from me. Um, I am putting together a, a tournament for TTS, um, you know, for America. Um, I want to find out who the best player in America is. Uh, it's taking some time uh, right now for me to come up with, come up with the uh, with everything. Uh, right now, it will just be strictly TTS. I am going to make it like an LVO thing where you can earn points for LVO as well. Um, right now, I'm having the limit set to 64 players, and it will be basically just open admission. You know, anybody from America can uh, enter this tournament. Um, I'm, I'm I'm sorry if I'm excluding people, but what I want to do, what I want to start. Um, and I'm hoping everybody else is picking up on this. Like what I want to start is like basically have like these tournaments where we're finding out like who's the best in this continent, who's the best in that one, right? Like who's the best in America, right? I want to see a tournament. Who's the best in Europe? Who's the best in whatever, you know what I mean? I want everybody to kind of pick up on that and maybe it just leads to something later on, right? Maybe we get, maybe with all these little you know qualifiers or whatever that we do. Um, maybe later on we turn that into, okay, the person, this person won that tournament and whoever won these other qualifying tournaments, we have like a massive, like top eight of these best players that were representing, representing their region. And we just have an event like that at the end. Right. Um, that that's basically what I'm trying to do. Right. I, I the only, that's the reason why I'm restricted to only America. Right. It's not nothing against anybody else. Uh, one, it's easier with timing. You know what I mean? With, 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 T, with this being only on TTS. You know, it's going to be a time limit. Um, you know, you're going to be sitting at your computer for a really long time. What I don't want to happen is, like, you know, I start a tournament at 11 a.m. And then it's God knows wh what time it is in another time zone. And it's going to be weird. You know what I mean? It, it just, it, it, it's not going to work. Um, so it, that's one thing. It's easier for timing for me and for everybody else. Two, um, I'm hoping it starts something where uh, others are doing similar kind of things like this where you know they can find you know who the best player in their region is and uh, maybe at the end of it maybe we combined all this together right and whoever's the winner of these tournaments they get to go compete in this one big huge like world's tournament kind of deal like that's my i that's my big picture uh small picture right now i just want to do an, a tournament just i want to find out who the best american player is Right now, I'm getting close. Uh, like I said, I think I, I want to get 64 players in TTS. I know it's ambitious. If I don't, I don't. I don't care. Um, but if I do, that'd be great. Uh, I want to do this over a weekend. So, you know, like Saturday, Sunday kind of deal. Um, if not, maybe start Friday. I'm not sure. So I'm trying to get a t I'm trying to get timing down as well. I'm not trying to uh, step on anybody's toes either with other events. So right now, I'm shooting for late June, maybe July. Um, I don't know yet. We're getting, I'm getting those details, you know, figured out. You know what I mean? I got to get some time off for myself because when, I, when I'm running this event, I want to be able to stream these match. I want to be able to stream matches. I want to get other streamers involved as well too if they want to go ahead and start streaming matches as well. Um, and I want to get the timing down and I want to make sure it makes sense. And, um, you know, I just wanted to have, uh, I want everybody to have a good time. The other thing is too, there there is not going to be a fee for this event, by the way. There's not going to be a fee. It's going to be free. Like just join and play. Uh, at the end of it, I'll have prizes. You know, of course, you're going to get LVO points once I submit it um, to whatever, uh, the LVO thing. Um, and uh, basically, the, what I want to ha what I have happen is first place, I will purchase a trophy for the winner uh, with their name plate, with their name on it, at, and I will mail it to them. Um, second, third, I'm, I'm thinking about prizes for you guys as well. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to get this together. So um, that's an update on, on, on the tournament uh, that I'm, I'm trying to put together. Um, you know, I got a lot to work through. Um, hopefully within the next two weeks here, I should be able to, okay, I feel comfortable. I finalized everything and I have a date. And um, hopefully I give people more than enough time to sign up, register, um, and just move forward, right? So uh, that's it for me, guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day out there. Take care. Uh, it's just an update for me for MCP, what's been going on. It's been busy with a lot of stuff. You know, we talked about Adepticon, uh, TTS, um, and the tournament that I'm trying to host uh, for America. Um, trying to find out who the best American player is in, in uh, MCP. Uh, so that's it, guys. Take care. Have a wonderful, blessed day out there. Keep playing MCP. Hopefully, we get some reveals this week. I don't know. I don't know what's going been going on with that. I need something. Come on, Tom. Give me something to talk about.
<laughs> and guys, remember to watch me tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, Hyper Piper will be streaming it. I will be playing. I will now be streaming it as well, I think, too, just so we can have two different streams going. Um, and that's it. Guys, take care. And subscribe to the channel. Like, dislike, leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.